Hey everybody, we have a really special tour for you today. If you've watched our channel, you might go, we've been all around Clearwater, North Tampa, other areas, but not actual downtown Tampa itself. That changes today. We're in one of our favorite spots, Hyde Park. We're gonna be giving you the five best things about living in the area and make sure to stay tuned because we're gonna be taking you inside this gorgeous home behind us. So we can't wait to get started. All right, well, my name is Keith Jamison. And I'm Jillian Jamison. We are real estate agents in the beautiful Tampa Bay area. We help dozens of people every year buy and sell homes in the area. Yeah, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. This is a great video. We have so much in store for you. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit those notifications so you see when a new video like this comes in the future. All right, now let's get into our favorite things about Hyde Park. We're gonna start off with number one, the location. If you're unfamiliar with Hyde Park, it's a historic area that's just west of downtown, which makes it just a short drive or even a walk to some really cool things. You can go catch a lightning game or a concert at Amelie Arena. You can get food down at Sparkman Wharf. You can go to the Children's Museum. The Glazer Children's Museum was an awesome place. Our son absolutely loved it. There's just so much to do right at your, your fingertips. Yeah, and it's only about a 15 minute drive to Tampa International Airport. The Gulf beaches are about 45 minutes to an hour away. And another popular destination is downtown St. Pete, and you're about 30 minutes from there. If you work in downtown Tampa, your commutes will be a breeze. You'll really be hard pressed to find anywhere more convenient in the Tampa Bay area than Hyde Park. All right, number two is the historical feel in the homes in Hyde Park. It was established back in 1880. So with that age really comes a ton of charm. I absolutely adore the homes in Hyde Park. And as we said earlier, we're gonna be giving you a peek inside one of the amazing homes in the area, so stay tuned. Almost all of the homes have expansive front porches and curb appeal. Many have been renovated to be just more up to the times. In fact, the homes in Hyde Park have to follow design guidelines on any exterior renovations, additions, and new construction to help maintain that historic feel in the community. There is a ton of variety in the types of homes you'll find. You can find condos, townhomes, and then your more traditional single family homes. The Hyde Park is known for the gorgeous historic homes in the community, and they range in size anywhere from a cozy bungalow under a thousand square feet to mega mansions over 6,000 square feet. Now keep in mind, this is an urban area, so yard space is often pretty minimal. Now, because of the location, which we just highlighted though, pricing can be at a premium. In fact, this has some of the most expensive real estate in all of Tampa Bay. So condos currently range anywhere from the mid 200s to multi-million dollar units if you have the beautiful views of Bayshore Boulevard. And single family homes range anywhere from the mid 600,000s up to over $6 million. Now let's get into what Hyde Park has to offer. Coming at the number three spot is Bayshore Boulevard. At 4.5 miles, it is the world's longest continuous sidewalk. That means if you're exercising outside, this is the place to go, whether it's running, walking, or biking, the views are amazing. This is also the road to go to to check out some of Tampa's prime real estate. Bayshore Boulevard is lined with historic mansions, many of which are on the National Historic Register. And it's easy to see why between the homes, the water, and views of the downtown skyline that this is a favorite place to go to get some exercise in. Another fun fact, this is where the world famous Gasparilla Parade takes place. It's one of the biggest parades in all of the US. If you haven't checked it out before, I would definitely put it on your list. All right, the number four most favorite thing about Hyde Park is Hyde Park Village itself. This area is awesome. I feel like I could stay out here all day. But some of the things that separate from it's about six blocks of high-end shops, boutiques, eateries, coffee, whatever you want is down here. Now, also, there's some really cool things. It's all centered around this picturesque fountain. There's even seasonal decorations. I personally love the pumpkin patch here during that time. But as you can see behind us, there's a huge Christmas tree as well. Also, on the first Sunday of every month, there's a farmer's market. And if you're a dog lover, Hyde Park Village is dog friendly in the outdoor area, so feel free to bring them along. And there just really isn't anything like Hyde Park in the Tampa Bay area. Some of the shops here are Pottery Barn, West Elm, Lululemon, and there's also a ton of great eateries. Our favorite is Tampano's, which is an Italian restaurant. 
And there's also Cine Bistro where you can go and watch a movie and eat dinner at the same time. That's one of our favorite things to do on a date night. Number five is Soho or South Howard if you're not familiar with the area. Now this really is restaurant row. Mm -hmm. And the location of my favorite and world famous Burn Steakhouse. Now, insider tip, make sure to make your reservations early here, like 60 days early. And also make sure to do the desserts room at the end. That's my favorite part of the whole experience. I think she could actually just do the dessert room and be plenty happy. But if you're going to go out afterwards, the bars really do pick up, especially on the weekends. A great time out. There's also the Epicurean Hotel in this area, and they have additional dining options and a rooftop bar. We are so excited to show you this gorgeous home located in Hyde Park. A special thank you to Heather Cameron with Compass and the owners for letting us showcase this beautiful home. Yeah, now this home is currently on the market just shy of 2.4 million. And what really makes it stand out and perfect home for us to showcase is just how it's built, the front porch, all of that is very quintessential Hyde Park. So let's go inside, check it out. All right, so walk in the living space. I think when you hear 1903 for the year a house is built, you expect closed in, older, not really functioning for the modern family. That's not this at all. Yeah, they did a fantastic job opening up this space. And I absolutely love some of the modern details they put in from the wine cellar to the shiplap fireplace. And this kitchen is amazing. They have this beautiful quartz waterfall island a hood over the range and gold finishes. They did a spectacular job with this space. So another thing too is you see a lot of in-law suites in these homes above the garages. Great for nanny, for just extra space, or even for rental opportunities. Mm -hmm. All right, so last stop though, before we get out of this unbelievable home is the primary suite. That's easily my favorite room in this home. Six bedrooms, five and a half baths, but that one, that stands out. Now, Keith was not lying when he said that this primary suite is the best room in the house. I just walked out of an extra sitting space that has barn doors, and then the main bedroom is huge. Plus, there's a built-in closet, and the ensuite bathroom is absolutely spectacular. Well, that was awesome. I don't think we could have picked a better way to end tour of Hyde Park which was just an awesome area in itself in getting a fantastic home tour. Absolutely. If you are looking to buy or sell a home anywhere in the Tampa Bay area, our team would love to assist. You can reach us by sending an email to contact at jamisonteamtampabay.com. And if you haven't already, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.